how would you rate yourself as a driver? If one were terrible and 10 were excellent, honestly now, where would you put yourself as a driver? Hopefully by the end of the show with Rachel's help, we'll inch you up one or two steps. Is that a good plan for us? I think us? it sounds good. Wonderful. Yeah. So Rachel is a driving instructor with the American Automobile Association. You work with older drivers on a regular basis, don't you? I do. And, and what is it that you are trying to do in the courses that you teach and, and in your work with them? It's really a refresher course and we try to focus on newer technologies, um, new road hazards, new light systems, and we really just like to educate the, new, uh, the older generation. Um, so seeing, I noticed in the material that you work with allowing an older driver to see better. What that means is we want people to actively use their eyes when they're driving. A lot of us tend to tunnel vision. Uh, we focus on other things and we want people to search aggressively, um, really pick up things on the roadsides and, and what's ahead of them. So if I'm an older driver or any driver for that matter, what, how do I be in a more active seer or viewer? It's really seeing everything around you, but most importantly, what's ahead of you. We want you to focus about 20 to 30 seconds down the road, and if you're unsure how to figure that out, you just pick a point in the future, and you count as you approach that object, and it should be at least 20 seconds of counting time. So I could practice that to get the idea of what you mean by Absolutely. 20 to 30 seconds of vision on the road ahead and the sides of the road. Absolutely, and while you're looking that far, you're scanning your intended path, and also to the roadsides looking for hazards, uh, cars pulling out of streets, animals, children, uh, any number of hazards. So you mentioned that intended path. So mm -hmm. there's a, an intended travel path I saw in your materials. What is an intended travel path? Oh, it's quite simple. It's where you are going to be in the future. So 10, 30, 40 seconds down the road. So I guess as an older driver, I've got to have the ability to move my head from side to side. And mm -hmm. so if I've got neck pains or neck problems, um, does that mean I have to get off the road? Not necessarily. This can actually be done quite easily um, just by moving your eyes, scanning them back and forth. You know, so we're taught, we're taught um, back from driver's ed to always look ahead. Mm -hmm. What does that really mean? Well, there's a difference between looking ahead and actually seeing what you're approaching. Um, it's similar to reading. You've ever had the experience where you've read a page and then you think about it and you're, you're not quite sure what you read. We don't want to do that when we're driving. We want to actively understand what we're seeing and take that in. We don't want to become tunnel vision. Um, we really want to see something, understand the potential dangers, and register that.